there. This is Carrie Ellis, author of 21st Century Superhuman. And today I have with me Caroline Kesh, Mrs. Kesh, and our Carolina DeRose. And um, Caroline, I'm so happy to be here with you today. You are such an amazing soul, and you've moved into a wonderful teaching leadership position in some great movements going on on the planet. So it's good to be here with you today. How are you? Thank you for having me, and you're more than welcome. Yes. And I'm doing great. Yes. Well, you have been in the middle of some amazing teachings over the last many months, and um, some have to do with a peace movement that many people may not even know is going on. And we would like to let the world know that there is a movement towards us rec recognizing ourselves as one humanity, as one world, one nation, one people. And um, I think this is a big, it's a big idea for many people to realize that we can go beyond nations and we can go beyond our individuation here into being a global community. And I know there's many already who desire that, but taking these steps is so important. Um, would you like to share with us a little bit of how this has emerged? Um, what I love about the Cash Foundation is not only is it teaching plasma science and the amazing tools that come with that, but it is also associated with the human soul and with how we're living here together on planet Earth. Um, and you have become a major voice in this movement. It's an amazing amount of knowledge that has been put out in a very short period of time, which has gone from what are the basics of plasma energy, how do the magnetic gravitational fields of creation work, but then this also opens up our connection to the soul of the man, how we can solve our world problems of hunger, of transportation, of needing to grow beyond entropic systems that rob from the planet instead of going into these beautiful new systems, plasma systems that give energy. And then that really connects us with the journey of the soul as well. So this is, it's just amazing. I mean, I just want to acknowledge the entire Cash Foundation and everybody who's involved in the periphery, who's played a role in just being here and participating, that this knowledge has grown to such a level in a really short period of time, actually, for the amount that has come forward. It is amazing. It's an amazing journey. Even me being in it, and witnessing the speed of the and the acceleration of the amount of knowledge and somehow it is proportioned and positioned with the right amount at the right time to move something somewhere on the planet for it to be repositioned that it can reach so many people Oh, and yes. I don't feel I don't feel people are falling behind. Right. The, they are like on a wave and yeah. this wave keeps on going higher and higher. And the funny part is that although as there is a lot of silence, the people are taking it in. They the understanding is there. It is an amazing journey for humanity. Yes. It will not be repeated, and it is a change. Um, there was a point at which the plasma technology blueprint came out, which introduced the MAGRAV and some of these more complex plasma tools. And that is sort of the, we'll call it the matter state um, process, where Mr. Cash always says, and I love it, we need to learn to move into beyond the matter state because so much in our world and how we how we feel how we believe how we know what we how we bring life into being comes from our soul our heart our mind our spirit beyond the matter state and um so out of this process that was taking place with a beautiful core team 
and these plasma blueprints emerging and how to make GANs and nanocode and all these things. Then the next level was something called the Peace Blueprint. And we brought forward a, a World Peace Treaty and the Universal Council was born. So do you want to tell us a little bit about that, Caroline, and how that came into being and what that step has been about? The first appearance of the Universal Council was in Dubai. That's where it came all together. And um, the whole layout, which has been, um, the steps have actually appeared in the blueprint weeks of the presentation for world peace. Um, we have changed the whole pivot point. That was the start of understanding more on the soul level and how the councils were coming into place because before it was more in a quiet level but they have emerged in the blueprint because they have all committed themselves to sign the world peace for this planet the earth councils have signed as you can see in the public presentations for the continents yes and there is beautiful, um, i was looking at the cashfoundation.org website the other day on the peace process and there's a beautiful section that shows the flags of all these countries that where people from those countries have signed the peace treaty and um, it's very beautiful to see all those flags and the representation from um, many countries at least 70 countries i'm not sure totally how many there should be all there except for the sub countries which are under a different uh, ruling or at that time still um, this will all change position they're still working on it there's still uh, going to be more countries added to it so then you had all the council members, universal council members, which were present or existing already in that language, which have signed up for the World Peace Treaty. And each country which didn't have a council member, then the Earth Council has taken the guardianship until the universal council members come into place to take over that responsibility. So the councils are working with their responsibility to sign the whole world let's right. say each nation each country nobody has been overlooked or forgotten um, has been signed into the world peace yeah these are great changes um, really for how we're perceiving ourselves as a human culture and as these it's growth and sometimes it's good you know, you protect growth in a cocoon or in a greenhouse or in a, you know, little protected garden space. And so this is the growth of humanity and it's in kind of an incubation time. So it still is because it's not in public media either. Right. And that's how we, and Mr. Kesh said it so many times, as long as we are evolving like this, and even not appearing in CNN or in whatever kind of public media, it, there is no need for. Mehran has said so many souls have been wishing this whole process. And it was like it wasn't, it wasn't possible to make these kind of big changes or that it really was realizing. And he said, yeah. He said the, the only thing which was lacking was the unification of the souls. Mm. And that just rang a bell. He said, yeah, they have to connect because the field strength, each one was working on its individual level, mm. wishing yeah. for their, and through their individuality, you know, um, if you take, an example like somebody is on the other side of the world and is, is really in a very bad, stressful position, they wish, they really wish through their heart and they really 
or in that suffering point, but somehow it would not move. And I explained it in last uh, Wednesday afternoon again. I said, the whole beauty is that so many knowledge seekers have not come to understand that they were on the path of thoughts before they arrived in the Keshe Foundation. So they already had some common point of what they wanted to change or wish to change. Right. So they have, through their field strength of what they already was existing in them, brought them closer to the foundation. Mm. With that arriving at the foundation, more doors have opened up. But yes. actually what has happened is, and people don't stand still with this, they have become their own, own expansion of field because they have started what they have started learning they have started adding to their what the name is in the society intelligence but in fact it, they have just expanded their field strength so by adding more knowledge by their curiosity they have just going and growing bigger as a soul Yes. But not only this, they have learned through the way the Kish Foundation and the ethos of the foundation is you teach freely and you're transparent. Yes. So they have all become sharers, givers. And because they have first seen that it was in a matter state for them to get the confirmation, it works. It yes. does its work. We yes. get the feedback. So they got the trust. So they found a path of trust. And within that, they became such a beautiful source of giving. And this is what a lot of knowledge seekers don't seem to realize, that they have ignited their own ignition point of shining. Yes, absolutely. And because there are so many that have been ignited at the same time in different parts of the world, this soul of wishing of the same direction, you know, we had enough, we want to change, we need this change, and we want peace. We yes. want tranquility. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. And all these fields have suddenly become closer and closer and closer to as one point of magnet field. And now it's radiating out to so many. And this is where their amazing point is that even now they have started going into the soul level they are wishing and they see their wishes coming into the matter state and they start questioning, but is this normal? And we have to say yes, because you were part of this change. Yes. You're and part of that beautiful soul which brought the change. Yes, yes. Because now accept the beauty of it. Yes. We're coming out of that old matrix system where we were basically little, you know, we had been... We had suppressed ourselves, let's just say, and not blame it on anyone else. And we had given up our creatorship. And now this awakening, it's a great awakening. And every, the beauty, I, I love the way you just said it, you know, the beauty of the way this is happening from the matter state to the soul state and people just becoming more awake, more present, more knowing um, that that is what is changing our world. And someone could download the peace treaty and sign it at cashfoundation.org and um, can pass it around to their friends. And it just says that I'm, you know, part of choosing peace on planet Earth. And <clears throat> then out of that emerged something we call the Earth Council. So um, could we just talk about that for a moment here? Because this is so beautiful you know it's going from the individual learning how these plasma tools and plasma fields work and then awakening the individual to become more of a creative energy within this field and then the universal council emerging and then now we have the earth council so tell us a little bit about that the peace treaty was there I think five or six years ago or seven years ago because Mr. Kesh was, um, he always said that there will be not a single soul harmed through the knowledge I am bringing. 
And the reason that the peace treaty was there in the first place to make sure when you start to work with this knowledge, you automatically are connected with the ethos of it. The ethos has taken longer to emerge and to be accepted than actually the knowledge. A lot of people were not so welcoming the ethos. And this has changed since July, August, because the understanding of why the ethos is there in the first place has opened a lot of people's way of looking at things, why they're making. And this, this came through the understanding of the explanation with the macrafts. Why certain macrafts are working, why certain macrafts are not working. Because in the blueprint, Mr. Kesh made it very clear, your first blueprint you make, um, your first macrafts you make, you give it away before you make the macrafts for yourself. Yes, yes, yes. And there was a lot of ethos in this, that the intent of creating this kind of knowledge is to serve and to give before you will receive. Beautiful. You're responsible for what you create. It's not that difficult to understand, but it took time to mature and now people really start working with it. That's, yes. why, that's why the peace treaty was there in the first place. The second peace treaty, which came in a different way, which was signed for the world, is for every single soul, no matter what language, no matter what culture, you are all equal to receive the level of peace. So beautiful. With that, Caroline, I just want to thank you so much. Um, and um, Carolina DeRuz, Caroline Cash of the Cash Foundation. Um, thank you so much for your heart and soul leadership in these times and the expression that you're bringing forward. Um, we really enjoy your teachings and your sharing. And I look forward to doing more of these conversations with you in the future. I'm just a student, just like you and everybody mm -hmm. else. Yes, we are all learning together, right? Yeah, because I learn from you. And they teach me so much. That's mm -hmm. why I keep on saying to the students, please share your knowledge because through your knowledge, I can increase my knowledge to share more knowledge because I can maybe serve somebody else. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And we shall meet again. I want to remind everyone to breathe, smile and love for by so doing we shift our own neurobiology. And we are here to change the world. We are here to change ourselves and to grow into the beauty that we can be as a universal race of beings here on planet Earth.